Subscriber tags let you sort prospects and leads in your autoresponder for segmenting your lists or just seeing where people have signed up from. Convertry can fetch or reply subscriber tags, but how this feature works depends on your autoresponder. This is because each service lets you do different things via API, and some include features others don't. So here's how subscriber tags work with our autoresponder integrations. For ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, Drip, Infusionsoft, MailChimp, and SendLane, tags are managed in the autoresponder. ConvertTree only fetches available tags. But please note, in MailChimp, groups act as tags. In Aweber, tags are managed in ConvertTree. ConvertTree cannot fetch available tags, but is able to create new ones. But don't worry, you won't create duplicates. If a tag already exists, Aweber will just apply it on their end. And in GetResponse, tags are managed in ConvertTree and the autoresponder. ConvertTree can fetch available tags and create new ones. So, to choose subscriber tags, in the page builder, click on Forms in the top toolbar. And in the Configure Forms dialog, click Autoresponder in the left hand menu, then choose your service. If you haven't integrated your service already, you'll be prompted to open integrations in a new tab. You can integrate your services or remove them at any time by heading to the dashboard and clicking integrations in the left hand menu. Depending on the service you connect, you'll be prompted to choose the list you want your form to add prospects to. Then in the subscriber tags box, start typing the name of the tag you want to apply. If it's already been created, you can choose it from the list. But if it doesn't exist, you'll need to create it first. If ConvertTree supports creating tags for your service, you'll see Create New next to the tag name. But if not, create a new tag via your autoresponder.